Okay, guys. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Let me see, what day is it? Oh, it is March 21st. Yeah, and we're gonna mow this lawn and fertilize it. This is the only one we're mowing today, right? Oh no, we might be mowing another one, right? Yeah, yeah. I I'm not gonna be able to mow the hill though. No, yeah, but so. that's fine. And we're gonna start spading beds on that. And then you guys will probably, will go back another day to the one we started yesterday, I think, with the spading of the beds. We're gonna be planting there, but that'll be, I'm gonna finish that video when we go do more of that. Oh, okay. So today will be just us mowing. I have to fertilize this one, lime these two, and they look really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. All the rain we got in the beginning of the season this year has really helped these lawns. Well, and we were super dry during um, aeration season, and we did have quite a few people contact us. And if you recall watching us, we told you, still tell your client to still seed because if we were going to get the winter that we were hoping for um we were going to get enough moisture so we did end up getting enough moisture which um we were very grateful for so and i think a lot of these yards are the third season third full season of like the jonathan green seed that we've yeah. been using now again the jonathan green seed that we use you is actually blended for our area so mm -hmm. we always recommend you go and find your sod farm and find out what seed they are selling and so, growing. Check a couple of different sod farms because if there's one that's using Jonathan Green with a mixture of a bluegrass and stuff like that in it, um, that's our mixture. And uh, she told me that you guys can't get that at a store. Yeah. So sorry I told you that like years ago to go get Jonathan Green Black Beauty. Yeah. But it is different. Um, it, it's like just blended for our area, like I said. So the next best thing for you guys, if you don't have a sod farm or you can't get your hands on a blend that is specific for your area, then go to Site One because um, Site One Landscapes then should help you with what the best blend in your area is. And if you're around here, guys, use Turf Mountain. Yeah. Turf Mountain, all their products are just above cost she told me so for a bag of fertilizer it's only thirty dollars to do ten thousand square feet like our grub killer i think is like i forget like thirty something dollars yeah and then our limes like 40 oh no the grub killer is 45 dollars, right i don't really it might be something remember. like that but she told me it's all above cost and they have a new product they showed me for people who want to see it in the spring and we actually might be trying it yeah so so we'll show you what that is it has an herbicide in it a pre-emergent like tenacity yeah and what it does is when you put it down as a granular you can still seed right over top of it and what it does is it'll turn any weeds white like the tenacity usually does he was telling me so hopefully we can try that product if we get this person to aerate and seed this year in the spring so yeah well let's get out and do this one because we're gonna go start a new project too so, yeah lots go. of work all right, let's go. Woodpecker. Oh, I heard a word pack right here. Yeah. I did not fix my mower yet because I was anticipating we'd have more time. But I am gonna try to weed eat this entire hill. I think I can do it.
thing, climb that hill, nice. That See, scares now me. I don't have to weedy. You should do that. Rachel's way down there blowing. Um, that took us 42 minutes by the time she's done doing that. Um, it usually probably only takes us 20 minutes, but I didn't have my walk by behind. I don't have it fixed yet. So I had to do the whole hill with Rachel's beast going up and down. I don't know how much it recorded. Um, for that lawn, which is the same size as this one, it's just the front yard. Um, we charge $50 or more for that. We haven't raised this price in a long time, but $50 is fair for that. Um, and then the fertilized lime, to put fertilizer and lime on both these yards, which is approximately 10,000 square foot all together, I think for both of them was $270. Now we're gonna go and do some spading of beds on a new project, even though we have the other one we still have to do, but we can't get plants for that one. And we're gonna wait until Monday because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we're gonna go prep this other one, mow the yard, fertilize it, lime it and all that fun stuff. So we'll see you there. Hey guys, we are here to mow this one. Oh, I smell the beautiful Bradford pears. Mow this one. We gotta clean all these beds out, prune these boxwoods, get all these weeds yeah. out. Yeah, we might have Oh, I might have something better to get weeds out. Mulch all this here. Rake all this. how long this is. I don't have a mower to mow the hill. Uh, these dogs. Look what the dogs do, man. Kills my grass. We're mulching all around here. All around here, you guys seen the other bed. And we are not gonna be able to mow this hill. I might hit some of the higher stuff, but other than that, Rachel's gonna do everything with the big mower. So I'll get you some progress. Oh, and we're fertilizing this one too, so. Okay, so Rachel's mowing this one. Not bad looking. And we're not worried about getting stuff in the beds right now because we're remulching all these. Oh, look at the... Okay, let me get back to work. I want to get done this in an hour. Rachel's blowing off. We're about done here. She wants to come back. We don't have any gloves and there's dog poo poo in the bed. So she doesn't really want to be digging in these beds when there's dog poo poo there. But I got this all fertilized as you can see. We got these beds cleaned out and all spaded and ready for mulch. So when we come back with mulch, I will. This gate's always a pain in the butt. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why? Okay. Oh my goodness, go in the hole. Jeez, that was a pain. When we come back, Jared and Rachel will start mulching and I'll spade the rest of the beds. So that might be not until Monday, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But we wanted to get the fertilizer down because we're supposed to get a bunch of rain. And I'm not sure what else we'll do. We'll go back to the house and show you some progress on the garden but we have to go to that other job. That'll be in another video. Let's go. So it's nighttime, guys. I didn't do much out in the garden. All I did was water everything and I built a little more of the chicken thing. You guys seen, we started prepping for that new job and we did a couple mowings. I got the chickens moved over tonight. I wanted to get this all cleared up and these guys over here before we get two inches of rain. I didn't want them sitting in the dirty, so. I put them in this run 
and they'll tear all that up and then I'll build the next one. We'll go from here down, but these guys will probably stay in here for probably five days because I actually built it even longer. Um, and then I'll start building one going this way. We're making really good progress in this garden. I'm really happy with it. Rachel's gonna get broccoli plants that we're gonna start planting. Probably, I'm gonna probably do them over there because I don't really want them to grow too big and cover up the strawberries. So I'll probably have them all in them section, this whole section here, broccoli. And our peppers started coming up in tomatoes. But guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, be happy, or at least try. Chickens are happy. I'm happy. Are you guys happy? Hopefully.